Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. You're checking out a Logic Pro 10 tip and trick tutorial video. So, so I'm gonna show you a cool technique you can use to separate the individual elements of a drum groove or beat that's in one MIDI region. So if you guys are like me, a lot of times you'll work with a sampler or a VST that's meant for creating drum patterns, like battery, maybe it's the EXS24, it could be contact, it could be, I'm using Atlas in this video, it could be anything, right? There's tons of them out there. Well, you can run into a problem when you need to do something to one element within that drum groove, especially when you're trying to mix. Maybe it's adding compression to the kick or a certain EQ or reverb to the snare, or just doing something you can't do within that sampler. Well, separating it can be a pain in the ass. What I see some producers do is they'll highlight individual elements within the drum pattern. So let's listen to the demo real quick. Right, you get the idea. So what some producers will do is they'll open up the MIDI, highlight everything that isn't the kick, bounce in place, name it kick, and then repeat that process for snares, claps, hi-hats, closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, percussion. That can be really time consuming. So I'm gonna show you a way to have Logic automatically separate your different elements of your MIDI region into different tracks so you have control and ease of access. So what you need to do is open up your key command editor. So hold down Option and K. Now from here, you need to start typing in, if we go to our text edit, our text search here, type in the word separate. So by the time you hit our text, or type in SEP, you should be there, but we'll keep going. So I'll just type in separate. Now, the one you wanna, you wanna, you want to create a key command for is this one that's called separate MIDI region by note pitch. Now by default, it won't be hooked up to anything. So to learn a key, to create a new key command, you select learn by key label, and then hit your keys on your keyboard that you want the key command to be. So I did option and V because option V isn't linked up to anything. If you do something that's already assigned, you'll get a little window like this. Logic barks at you and will be like, are you sure you want to do that? Replace, accept, etc. So option V isn't already connected to anything. So if you guys want to use that one, go for it. So then what you do is you select the region that you want to apply this separate note by, by pitch here. And what I'm going to do is hit option and V. And you can see now that I have each element of my drum groove on a separate track. So here is the kick. All right, so I went through and named them so you can see. Now, this is actually like a group. So if I mute the one that says drums is now empty, it's you know gonna mute everything. And if I add EQ, say it's like this hi-hat, how it is here, it'll add EQ to the whole group, right? So the benefit of this is just being able, I think, to see everything you know where it is. If you're trying to create more, you know, more pocket, have more space in your range window, maybe you're trying to do some intricate syncopated rhythms, you, that's there. Also for bouncing in place. If I wanted to bounce this in place, this kick, right? So there's the kick, and I don't have to go through and mute any any random audio. So let's say I just wanted to apply some processing to the kick. Now my kick's separate from everything, so I can go in and mute each region. So if I select the actual region and hit M on my keyboard, it won't mute the rest of of the drums. <laughs> And now my kick is separated from the actual mix. So if you guys have ever wondered how to quickly separate each individual element within a drum groove in Logic, this is the way to do it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.